what's up, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video, and today I'm going to talk about the two new artifact sets that they revealed in the recent uh, stream, right? Um, or, or, or announcement video, whatever you want to you know, call it. So, these two artifacts, Echoes of an Offering and Vermilion Hereafters, these are probably going to be the two artifacts uh, in the new Chasm area, right? And they're probably going to be both in the same domain, because that's how artifacts usually are <laughs> right structured and they're actually pretty interesting i feel um i'm not sure a hundred percent how i feel about them but my first impression of them are they're nice but they both have some issues and i think it does highlight a larger issue that Genshin has been having with some of these uh, artifacts recently as well, right? So uh, let's just quickly go over their descriptions. So Echoes of an Offering, which by the way, it looks fantastic. I love how Echoes of an Offering looks. It looks so good. I really wish it could be used on Xiao so we could get the, uh, you know, the Jade combo with the uh, Jade artifacts and, you know, uh, Primordial Jade Wing Spear as well, right? So anyways, let's look at it. Five-star artifact, obviously. So the two set bonuses, Attack plus 18%. <laughs> pretty simple, pretty simple. Attack plus 18% is the two set bonus. And the four set bonus is when normal attacks hit opponents, there's 36% chance it will trigger Valley Right, which will increase normal tax damage by 60% of attack. This effect will be spelled 0.05 seconds after a normal attack deals damage. If a normal attack fails to trigger Valley Right, the odds of it triggering next time will increase by 20%. This trigger can occur once every 0.3 seconds. So that's a lot of mumbo jumbo to say, basically, in Razor language. Normal attack, well, okay, maybe not as simple as Razor language, but when your normal attacks hit opponents, right, there's a chance you will get a normal attack, huge normal attack increase for your, you know, for the next 0 0.05 seconds, which is basically your next normal attack, unless some characters have, you know, multiple that you could fit in there within 0 0.05 seconds. So, yeah, anyways every time your normal attack hits someone there's a chance that you get a normal attack increase right and um if you don't get that chance because it is rng right the next time the trigger will get increased until you guarantee get that hit you know big increase hit so um this artifact set is interesting there's definitely a units that you could use it on the big one i do think is definitely going to be um yoimiya right yoimiya I, I feel like is definitely a, a big one that could benefit from this and yoimiya seems like she's been getting a lot of pretty solid buffs recently right with uh yunjin obviously being in the game uh would be nice uh again this artifact set could be you know really nice for her as well so uh, i do like seeing you know them trying to buff some characters that folks initially thought were kind of whatever when they first came out i uh, like kokomi as well right that's another example so it looks like uh Yunjin is sort of getting the kokomi treatment which not Yunjin, <laughs> yoimiya is sort of getting the uh kokomi treatment which uh, which i do like i do like them buffing you know uh older characters that maybe weren't as crazy right so that's definitely nice uh because obviously yoimiya being a normal attack focused damage dealer right uh and 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 the other great thing i do feel like uh why this works with the yoimiya um is because that since it is rng based on you know the chance that it will trigger i'd rather throw it on characters that could throw out some really fast normal attacks rather than you know some of the more clunky claymore characters that also could do solid damage on normal attacks which i'm not saying it's going to be terrible for them but they're a bit slower right so with yoimiya you shoot out those arrows really really fast right so you know you just get more procs of these off right so yeah yoimiya should be a really really nice uh character again we don't harm sure know how this works in terms of how it multiplies uh, into its E and such, I guess. So that's like one thing to look out for, right? Um, outside of that, it's it seems like a very, I guess, niche set, which is slightly... You'd think, oh, how could this be niche, 
right? It's normal attacks. Everyone has normal attacks. Yeah, everyone has normal attacks. Not everyone uses normal attacks. Not everyone uses normal attacks to an extent where, you know, this could be potentially nice uh, or, or useful. And the thing is, a lot of the other normal attack users generally do have better artifacts. It's like stuff like Eula, right? Eula, again, I haven't done the numbers yet, right? But it, Eula probably ha already has the, the better uh, artifact set regardless. Um, let's see, uh, who else? Oh, Tar Tag is, uh, you know, another one, right? It's like heart test, really, really nice for it. Like maybe, even if the calculation does show like this, okay, maybe this could be a bit better, but like, is it really that worth it to swap it over, right, from that? Um, and what else? Again, and it might not even be that great for Yoimiya either, again, depending on how the calculations work, but we don't really know until it uh, actually officially comes out in the game, right? So, um, this is just from, again, just first impression from what we see from the trailer, right? So, yeah, um, I think it's fine. It's fine, but, um, a lot of times there could potentially just be better ones for a lot of these other characters. And again, some other normal attack users, you know, a bit slow, not a huge fan of slowing or, or slower attacking uh, units, trying to get these RNG procs, right? It's just a pain, right? Just to trying to get these uh, in comparison to something, again, like Yoimiya, that could be a bit faster. Next one, Vermilion Hereafters. So two set bonus is also attack plus 18%. The four set bonus is after using an element to burst, this character will... Uh, gain a nascent light effect, increasing their attack by 8% for 16 seconds. When the character's HP decreases, their attack will further decrease by 10%. This increase can occur this way a maximum of 4 times. This effect can be triggered once every 0.8 seconds. Nascent light will be dispelled once the character leaves the field. If, el if an elemental burst is used again during the duration of nascent light, the original last night will be dispelled. Oh my god. These artifact bonuses, foresight bonuses, these people are starting to write essays with these, Jesus Christ. So, the Unga Bunga version of that is basically, when you use an elemental burst, right, uh, you'll get a, after, when you get a, when you use an elemental burst, you'll get a stack that increases your attack by 8% for 16 seconds, and then uh, when, your, when your HP drops, it'll increase your attack even more by 10%. Max four stacks, triggered once per 0 0.8 seconds, right? And uh, if you leave the field, it's gone. So basically, you use your burst, you get attack percent up, you take damage, you get more attack percent up. Caps four times, right? So the obvious character, as soon as you look at this, like, oh my god, this is this is the Xiao artifact fact you know, set. Finally, for Xiao, we don't have to, you know, go ahead and, and run run uh, two-piece gladiator, two-piece for Descent, or Shimanawa, or whatever, or whatever, right? Uh, and yeah, it could definitely be really, really nice um, for Xiao, right? Because uh, it's, it's basically his set, right, it seems, right? It's uh, designed with the... Uh, with the uh, Luo Sha. I don't know how you guys call that in English. The. Alright, apparently in English they're called Yakshas. So, yeah. Uh, you know, which again fits them well. Not aesthetically, I think the Jade one fits them better aesthetically, but you know, in terms of how it works, right? Um, that being said, it should be an increase. It's just probably not gonna be like a huge increase, right? So, like, if you were to have, like, a really, really nice farmed up, you know, two set, again, Gladiator, Verdescent, Shimanawa, whatever you want to throw in there, right? Might not be, you know, the best idea to farm these up, but, like, the thing is, this, this, uh, th this domain could potentially be a solid domain to farm just for the two set bonuses, because both of these Artifacts two sec bonuses are attack plus 18%, which is almost universally applicable, right? Very universally. A lot of units want that two set attack plus 18%. Well, it's not that they want the attack plus 18%. It's just that they don't have their own like special artifact set with the four set bonus that fits them perfectly. So they just settle for the 18% mostly, <laughs> right? It's not that it's bad. It's fine, right? Uh, so this one domain, you'll always be getting... A artifact piece that gives you 
attack plus 18%. The only other one is Shimanawa, which, you know, is uh, put in with uh, with the um, uh, the energy recharge set, right? Don't know why it slipped my mind. Emblem, obviously. Uh, which is still one of the, you know, strongest sets in the game. A lot of units use it. Emblem, still very, very good. But um, if you want to really just focus, hone in on the attack percent sets, this is definitely a nice domain to farm in, just resin-wise, because obviously the other half of the two set 18% would generally, you know, that would be Gladiator. And, you know, Gladiator is just really hard to farm, right? For, and guard, yeah, stamina cost farming Gladiator is not really worth it. Um, sometimes people have to, like, fuse the artifacts for to get it. So uh, I do think this is, is definitely a, a nice alternative to that, at least, right? Um, so even if even if it's only, like, a bit of a bonus, uh, it, um, in comparison to what Xiao generally has, right, which is, uh, or, or whatever your Xiao has. But you could slowly farm this domain just because, again, it is just a nice domain to farm with the uh, attack plus 18 percent, right? And then, you know, while you're farming for other characters, you can maybe get a full set over here for a piece, throw on your Xiao, and, and it could potentially work well, right? So, I don't think that's too big of an issue. Uh, in terms of, like, anyone else that could really use this, I guess maybe... Raise a bit, I guess. Like people, people talk about uh, 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 Hutao maybe, right? But like uh, Hutao's, it's it's on E, right, for the most part. And and you generally, whoops, you generally do again. It's mostly for after using your your elemental burst, right? Um, and then you need this thing to decrease to the stack. I guess the other application would be. If you're fighting like corrosion bosses that you know you consistently decrease your HP on, that would okay, that would help. But like, it's just really hard to like use farm a specific set just to fight this specific, you know, stage with these specific bosses. It's like, yeah, <laughs> it's generally it's better just to farm some more universal, you know, uh, sets that that your your character could use, right? For the most part. Uh, or, or if you're just, like, really bad at dodging and you just get, like, hit a lot, then okay. Uh, th that's me! I'm bad at dodging! <laughs> so, yeah, because, I mean, I guess if you if you get hit, or if you're in some, like, terrain where you're, like, you know, um, like the Hydro, uh, uh, like the, um, uh, was it Hydro Cube? Or the, the one, oh, oh, um, Oceanid, where, like, the ground is like always hydro and then you're like electro and you electro charge the ground and then you just continually step on electro charge water <laughs> but yeah um my issue with these sets generally um and 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 it's a bit of a trend which is they keep on making artifacts that really just fit one character perfectly and maybe that is a bit short-sighted and i do think it's a bit of a short side to take but it is still relatively true regardless at the moment right um but because because i do think in the future there could be more units that come into the game that maybe could actually use it but again when is that future coming right but uh, at the moment like again vermilion hereafters is just a perfect example like maybe echoes of the offering you could throw it on some other characters right there are like a few that could normal attack obviously but, but like vermilion hereafter it's just like shell right it's just shell mostly Right, so it's like, uh, made a whole artifact for this one character. <laughs> I like something like, uh, you know, uh, like emblems. So many units can use it. It's like it's so really well used across the board. Shimanawa even, you know, that as well, right? Um, Pale Flame, not that a lot of characters use it, but you know, a decent amount of characters that use. But like stuff like. Maybe like ocean, like clam, maybe right. There really isn't that many characters that could really use it that well, and and stuff. It's like, why are we making these? Unless again in the future there's more characters that could use it, which again I do think is a possibility. But at the moment, I don't know. I'm not not a huge fan. They did make it not as bad, right? In this case, where again the two set bonus is pretty universal. Like almost everyone that's a damage dealer could. Definitely just run two piece echoes, two piece vermilion, slash shimanawa, slash gladiator, right? So that's good. But anyways, that's the um that's the two new artifacts, I guess. Um 
Just my two cents on them. Uh, I, I love Echo's design. It looks very, very cool. Vermilion looks fine as well, but uh, that's just designs for them, right? But yeah, um, this is going to be fun for uh, you and me. Oh, also the other one is Ayato, uh, obviously. <laughs> and then Vermilion is, uh, Vermilion's, again, the, the big Xiao one. So maybe I will finally... Maybe I will finally uh, level up my Xiao. Shout out Xiao. Anyways, um, that's me for this one. I guess hope you all enjoyed the guys. Link in the comments down below. Like, share this video, subscribe to channel for some more. Get your impact content, guys. In the next one.